you said you worked with Screw mm -hmm. on stuff. What was it like to get a phone call from DJ Screw and say, hey, I need you to come in the studio with me. I need a beat. Man, I ain't gonna lie, Screw, uh, he used to tell me all the time, man, that my sound was made for what he does. You know what I'm saying? Like, the noises that I use, the certain, you know what I'm saying, the certain, uh, certain moves and certain things I use was perfect for his sound, you know what I'm saying? And, and when you slow it down, you can hear it even clearer. Or it will play with your ears or play with your mind and shit. Like, like bro, he was like, man, your sound, man, I love screwing your music, man. And that was like motivation for me. I was like, bro, I used to hit him and be like, man, listen to this. He'd be like, dude, this shit is incredible. Like, and that, that shit used to inspire me and, you know, and then on, man, I just, I, I started fucking with all them boys. Yeah. So, uh, with the ESG beat, what instrument did you use on that beat? Which one? On the, uh, Swangin' and Bang. Uh, which, which instrument? I mean, the, the wave. Yeah, it's, uh, how it comes on, man, it's kind of what, man, you know, we move on and what, what Drake sample or whatever. Yeah, 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 we, 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 we gonna get, get into that, yeah. okay. For yeah. the people that don't know, yeah. Drake has actually sampled a yeah. beat that you created. Yeah, two of them. He sampled two of your yeah. beats. I didn't know. What's the second? Uh, it's a little intro we got that he, he uh, sampled. Yeah. Okay. Yeah, so we, Drake, the biggest art, one of the biggest artists, if not the biggest artist in yeah. music, yeah. has sampled some of your music before. Yeah. yeah. And, and and a lot of people don't know that. Yeah. That yeah. And, and that's and that's the impact that I'm trying to really paint out for the viewer that. You was doing this in the 90s. Yeah. With the Houston culture, the Houston sound. Yeah. And we in 2018. Right. This is 20 plus years. Yeah. And yeah. it's still getting used to this day. Yeah, man. It tripped me out, too. I'm like, you know, everybody always say, like, my sound, because <clears throat> if you listen to the music that was coming on, like, before us, uh, it was a lot more harder and a lot more aggressive, whatever, you know what I'm saying? Yeah. Me having parents, my mom was from New Orleans, even though we, I grew up here. Uh, I went to school in Louisiana, and my dad was from Houston, and he got the, the type of soul that we used to listen to, and the, and the flavor is kind of a mix of, of the Louisiana and the Texas, you know what I'm saying? That's how my vibe is, you know what I'm saying? Like, all my stuff earlier was a little faster, you know what gotcha. I'm saying? Um, then I started, you know, when I started playing, I was like, okay, I got a little melody that I like, or whatever. But yeah, man, it's an honor when people tell me that my, my sound, like, created a whole new wave. And a lot of people started, you know, kind of like emulating it or whatever, and using, you know, what I had, and kind of making their own twist on it, which is dope. You know, so I ain't tripping. Yeah.